Hey guys, so I'm just going to jump right in. Um, I'm starting off with primers. I have one from Clinique and one from Benefit. They're both pore filling primers. Um, they're both pretty much the same and pretty much empty. So I'm going to keep both of them, and try to use them up before I move. Um, and then I have one from uh, Soap and Glory and one from Touch and Soul. Again, they're more pore filling, but they're more of like a tacky sort of primer than a silicone -y one. They're both almost empty, but keeping them both. Essentially the same thing. Next up, I have this NYX Green Concealer. Um, I think it's a little bit too full coverage to be a, um, what's it called, a color corrector. So I am getting rid of it. And then I also have the same concealer in PG, like, skin tone color. My skin tone color. I don't know why that was difficult for me. Um, and I'm going to keep that because I like it. Um, I also have the NYX Dark Circle Corrector, um, which is essentially gone, as you will see. There you go. Um, and I'm keeping that because I love it. Um, so next up, I have the YSL Touche Clay Touche Clot thing. Um, this is in the lightest shade. Um, it's in limited edition packaging, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm keeping that. Um, and then I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, this is pretty much the only drugstore concealer that I have found that is light enough to highlight my under eyes, so yeah, I'm keeping that. Um, and then this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. I like this a lot. Um, keeping it. And then I also have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is similar to the Bare Minerals one that I just spoke about, but, um, too pink. So I'm also keeping it, but... I just can't use it as much as I'd like. So Urban Decay Naked Skin, love it, keeping it. Um, this is the Shella, like, brow highlighter sort of concealer thing. Never used it, just getting rid of it. And then the Ulta Concealer Stick in Light, which is way too dark for me. Um, and I'm not a big fan of concealer sticks. And also I can't hold things right set up, so yeah. Next up, I have foundations and BB creams. First up for foundations, I have the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation in shade Buff Bisque. Maybe it's Buff Beige. I don't remember. I think it's Buff Beige. Um, keeping that, love it. It's my fake tan color. And then um, I have it again in Nude Ivory, which is too pink for me, so I am getting rid of that. Um, yeah. I'll just pick it up in a different color. Um, I have the NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. It's also too pink for me, but not nearly as pink as the Wet n Wild one, keeping it. Um, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation. Um, I don't like that. makes my skin look very textured. Um, L'Oreal Lumi Magique, or True Match Lumi Foundation, whatever. Um, it's too dark, and it wears off pretty fast. And then my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in shade 202. Um, then I have the Maybelline Pure BB in Medium. Um, I am keeping that. It's a good summer BB cream for me. It's a good color. Um, and then the NYC BB 5-in-1. I believe this is also a medium. Getting rid of that just because it's essentially the same thing. I don't need to. This is the same thing, but their bronzing version. Keeping it because it makes a good body bronzer. And then L'Oreal Magic BB cream in Fair. I'm getting rid of it because it's very orange. Okay, so moving along to powders. Um, first up, I have the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I really love this, um, but as you can see, I am pretty much out of it, so I'm just going to keep it, and then when I move, just throw it away. Um, but I love it for on-the-go touch-ups, and it smooths out my skin very nicely. Rimmel Stay Matte, classic. Um, definitely keeping that, though I don't like it as much as everyone else seems to, but it, it's, it's good. Um, then I have the bare... No. No, now I have the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. Um, this leaves a weird white cast on my skin. Don't love it. Um, and then the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation in a shade that is completely wrong for me. Um, it's in limited edition packaging from a while back. Um, it's very orange, so I'm getting rid of that. And then I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder um, in the lightest shade. Love that as well. Um, moving on to blushes. I have this Ulta blush. It's like a blush highlight duo. It's like, I think the blush is apricot. I don't use the highlight. I don't like it. Um, keeping that. Packaging has fallen apart though. And then I'm going to try to depot it so that I can put it in like a Z palette or something so that it doesn't break. 
Um, I also have the Ulta Bouncy Blush. This is the Bouncy Blush in the shade Flower Power. Um, looks a lot like NARS Orgasm, that sort of thing. This is a NYX Cream Blush in shade Natural. Keeping that. Oh, I kept the Ulta one too. Um, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Pearlescent Pink. Also looks like NARS Orgasm. Definitely keeping that all-time favorite blush. Um, and then this one, I don't remember what brand this is, but I got an Ipsy bag. It's kind of the same thing as the um, Ulta Bouncy Blush, but I like the Ulta one more, so I am just going to pass this one along. And moving on to bronzers, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon something stick. Uh, it's too dark for me, but I really like it right now. Um, and then this is the NYX um, Blush and Taupe, keeping that as well. And then NARS Orgasm, or NARS Laguna, sorry, um, is my all-time favorite bronzer, but it breaks me out. So I'm going to be passing this along. It makes me really sad. Um, then I have my new favorite bronzer, which is the Bare Minerals Invisible something bronzer. Yeah, in medium. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, I would get light if you want a little bit less of a um, orange. This is a Forever 21 bronzer I've had so long, so I'm just going to pass it on. This is the e.l.f. like pressed powder in the darkest shade. Um, I'm keeping that for when I'm very tan. And then this is the e.l.f. like bronzing compact in like bronze lights or whatever. And I'm having a little bit too much fun making eye contact with you guys in the mirror. Cool. Um... Yeah, I never use that, so I'm just passing that along as well. And then moving on to highlighters. That's really abrupt. Sorry, this is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked in Radiant Lights. Definitely keeping that, but we'll be throwing it away before I move because of the packaging. Um, this is the Ulta high, like Liquid Highlighter. I don't remember what shade it is. Um, and I don't know why I'm showing it for so long because I don't have much to say about it. Um, I'm passing it along, though, because I don't really love it. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in some Precious Petals, something like that. I'm keeping that. And then this is the Wet n Wild. This is a rainbow highlighter I made out of the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighter from a while ago. Um, I'm, that's some going in my maybe pile, so I'll tell you guys about it later. Becca Opal, definitely keeping that. As you can see, it's been through the mill, but I love it. Um, and then... This is an e.l.f. like multi-stick that I like a lot. Um, Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, keeping that as well. It's very subtle, very nice. And then I also have the Nomad one that I got in my Ipsy, keeping that. And then my computer's froze, so we're just going to hope that I can narrate this. And then, oh yes, Mary Luminizer slash Cindy Luminizer slash Betty Luminizer. I love this. As you can see, Mary Luminizer is pretty well loved. Other ones do get some use as well. Um, yeah, and now moving on to single eyeshadows. Um, if you saw my last favorites video, you saw this. Um, I don't like the formula, but the color is really pretty, so I'm keeping it. Um, this is Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Eyeshadow. Um, I'm keeping that as well. My plan for all of these eyeshadows is to depot them and put them in a Z palette. So um, this is an Essence eyeshadow I've had for forever, so I'm just gonna toss it because I don't ever use it. Um, Urban Decay in Fireball, definitely keeping that. Um, it was like a sample that I got, like free gift with purchase. Um, then I have a couple from the Ipsy bags. This is technically a bronzer. It's Elizabeth Mott, um, what's up, Beaches or something? I don't know. Um, keeping that. Um, and then the Balm Hot Mama blush. Um, I really like that it's an eyeshadow, so we're keeping that. Um, the Hama Mama also from the Balm, um, nice bronzer, keeping that. Um, I'm just going to take these out of the packages, pop them in the Z palette, as I said. Um, and then this is the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Glow, or something like that, um, highlighter slash eyeshadow. Um, too glittery to use as a highlight, in my opinion, but looks very pretty on the eyes, so keeping that as well. And then this is the Duche, Duche, Free Matic Shadow or something, I don't know. Pretty pink color. Looks like a raspberry. Keeping it. I'm like legitimately getting winded filming this. I don't know how that's possible. Or narrating, I guess. Um, and then I also have the NYX Prismatic Shadow in Bedroom Eyes. Keeping that. Love it a lot. It's like a dark copper. Um, and then I have this one from Prestige. It's like a glittery silver. I don't know what that transition was. 
Um, I'm keeping it specifically for Christmas things. I also have a bunch of these like elf eyeshadow duos that like came in a big set. Um, getting rid of them. I've never used them. I think I bought them for Halloween one year. Um, yeah. And then I have this elf. No, I have another prestige. Um, I tried this one's a matte purple one. I never use it, just passing it along. Um, then I have this little elf um, quad. Why can't I talk? It's a quad. Um, my mom loves these. Um, I've bought her many of them. I'm just going to give that one to her probably. I have an Ulta gel bounce eyeshadow. Um, I don't remember the shade name. I love the color. Creases so badly on me, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I have this Maybelline 24 hour um, color tattoo. Um, I'm getting rid of it because I've never used it. And I've had it for years, so I'm trying to swatch it during the video, so hence the moving camera angle. Oh, also, sorry that I'm like filming this vlog style. Um, this is the Lush something something something. I don't know. I've had it for way too long, just getting rid of it. I have one of these little naked cosmetics cubes in Desert Sunset number two, keeping that. Um, I have this other one. I don't remember the brand, but it's in the shade Evergreen. I'm just getting rid of it. These are loose shadows right now, so Face Minerals loose shadow. I don't use loose eyeshadows, so I'm only keeping the ones that I really use, and so I'm also getting rid of that one. Um, and then I have two of the NYX roll-on shimmers. Both of the colors are really pretty. I just haven't ever used them, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, Ulta Foil Rock Eyeshadow in... I don't remember the color, but definitely keeping that. Love it a lot. Um, why am I trying so hard to get the camera to focus? Cool. Um, and then I also have the Ulta Glitter Eye Top Coat in Fairy Princess, keeping that as well. I think it's really pretty. Then I have the NYX Crystal Liner, or look, yeah, something like that. I'm um, getting rid of that. I've had it for literally five years, and it also peels off like glitter glue, so that's fun. Then I have a couple of these face and body glitters that I don't know where they came from, but I've never used them, so I'm just getting rid of them. And that is everything. So this is a pile of everything I'm getting rid of, as you can see. Um, and then I have one maybe, which I will update you guys up in part two um and then i have all of this that i'm keeping that i'm going to organize for you right now so here it is all organized i have like four primers um three foundations two bb creams um a buttload of concealers <laughs> um yeah you guys can count three powders um like three, four bronzers, um, three or four blushes, a bunch of highlighters. I'm not good at getting rid of highlighters. And then, you know, a decent amount of shadows. So yeah, um, I'll see you next time. Bye!